I don't know why I started doing this. This is so fun. <gasps> you guys. I've been up to a lot this weekend. Uh, I still have to edit a video that I did this weekend. Um, I believe I did it really quickly on Saturday morning. And I just haven't had the time or taken the time to uh, upload it, to edit it, to upload it, to get it all done, but I'm going to put the finishing touches on it today when I'm done here, and I don't know why I'm talking about it, because I'm going to post it up before this one, so who cares. Now, I had to go over it again. I do that a lot so that I can, because I don't take show notes, <laughs> so I have to like, go back and watch what I was uh, talking about so that I know what I'm going to touch on today. And I have a couple of things, not a lot, but a couple of things that I want to share with you guys today. There's some really weird, weird music going on. Anyway, the most important one is that my husband lied. He lied, and for that, he must be punished. You see, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last one, but he told me that he was a size 12 foot. And although he is a size 12 foot, like 12 shoe size, he's not a size 12 foot. And it's weird. It's it's weird and I'll tell you, it's a complicated issue. But when I measured out his foot, it's 11 inches. So it makes a big, big difference. So he made me so upset about the whole thing, about the fact that I spent so much time knitting his sock over and over and over again, trying to fix that heel that I just, I don't know, I had to like chop off his foot so that everything would fit. And it did. Let me show you. Like a glove. <laughs> okay, sorry. Now, on my last episode, my last vlog, I was freaking out because I felt like I was doing the German short row thing wrong. Well, Come to find out from all the different videos that I've seen all over the interwebs, all the instructions, all the instructions, all over the internet, it seems to me like there's more than one version of the German short row, or there's more than one way to skin a cat, is really what it is. All in all, bottom line, the short row that I was doing last episode is good. I think it works. It works quite nicely because look. I mean it looks lovely. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It's not you got to understand this is a tiny foot. It's a tiny foot so it's not exactly all stretched out like it would be on on my husband's foot when he puts it on. But I don't know, guys. I think that works fairly nicely. Right there is, that's just my issue uh, from, like, joining the back to the front. But this side's a little more, like, Frankenstein-y. But those, that's my problem because I don't pull tight enough on the actual, you know, wrapped double stitch. I don't pull tight enough. But all in all, I got a really nice, you know, looking sock. This helped me a super lot. Um, in fact, I can show you. <laughs> Ew. It has monkey toes like me. Like that toes bigger. <laughs> Look at that. Ew. So gross. 
Christmas. Ew. I I went to Halloween City. I, neither is it called Halloween City? I don't know. Halloween City, Halloween Town or something. I can't remember. Halloween Club is what it's called. And I went and I was like, I need a severed leg. I have to have one. It'd be so funny to do it for Vlogoween. Well, I found a severed leg. But I found several. And one of the ones that I had found was like all sticky and gross. Oh, I nearly vomited. Very interesting section. Anyway, let me show you guys really quick what a difference this makes and how I'm just so happy with it. Super helpful, you guys. This little trick super helpful and they fit and I haven't blocked them yet but really I mean have you seen anything like that I've never seen anything like that and I it was just it worked it worked out really nicely uh, and and it wasn't perfect it wasn't exact I didn't you know I was probably messing up I didn't tell them to stand you know, like it said to stand on the instructions. Um, I probably wasn't as precise as it says to be on the instructions. So, you know, I did the best that I could as quickly as I could. And, and it still worked out. So, yay! Very happy with my two-at-a-time toe-ups. And I was able to do them just like I like to. I put them back both on the needles. Um, after the last time, I took it down all the way down to something like here or something like way before the gusset started and I just knit it back up and I just took a deep breath, took my time and just went for it and it really worked out so, so nicely. I was very, very happy with it and yeah, so with the extra yarn that I had left over, I started a pair of toe-ups for myself and I wasn't going to I was gonna get started with that other sock that I want to do for myself but I just got so excited I really love this yarn and I wanted to use like every last little scrap of it so I just decided to cast on a pair of toe-ups for myself and look at how cute it is uh, I basically I left enough yarn to I think maybe do the cuff there should be more than enough to do the cuff so when I get to the cuff part I'm just going to do the cuff until I run out of the regia and I have absolutely no more regia uh, but let me show you real fast that's my monkey toe see guys look my monkey toe oh my god I can't believe I showed you my monkey foot <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to start the heel at this point. Um, I don't, I don't recommend that you do this by yourself. Like you look at this and go, "Oh, I'm gonna copy this and do it exactly." No, I recommend that you go and buy the fish lips heel pattern and follow the instructions exactly the way she sets. Uh, she says because it, it's just super precise super helpful and she's got like this other foolproof method to make sure that it 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 really is precise and I mean who doesn't want to be exact and precise I really should give this girl a call and thank her because this is really so helpful that's my Ravelry name you guys isn't that clever I feel so clever <laughs> That's my Ravelry name, but yeah, so I'm going to start out my heel, um, and that's where I'm at right now, and so here's that thing. What I mentioned last time was that freaking heel, that German short row thing, is just flipping me up, because everywhere I go, it's just a little bit different. Um, 
and I, I know it's just because I am a simple minded person and I don't understand what's happening and I'm not taking the time to read anything and, and I'm just like stressing out and I just want to know everything right now and I need to know. So, chill, chill out and just do one thing at a time. So what I did was, since this was weighing on me, Obviously, the heel worked just the way I did it, going back and forth, um, creating those doubles, those wrapped double stitches, whatever double stitches, uh, and, and it was fine. And really, the damage was minimal. It looks fabulous. I think it looks great. But I do see on some other uh, instructions and videos and things like that where you do the German short row, um, create your double stitch on one side, create your double stitch on the other side, go all the way back to one stitch before the double stitch that you created, and then turn, create another double stitch, go back to one stitch before the wrap double stitch on the other end, turn it, create another. And so every time you go back and forth, you have one stitch in between each double stitch that you created, that you wrapped. So I did a test today because that is the next heel that I'm going to do on this pair of socks for myself. And so I did a quick little test. Look, I knew that by leaving a stitch in between the wraps, that I would probably get a more sealed sort of look to it. And goodness gracious, this looks a little more like a hack job there, but this is, I think, the pearl side, and I'm not sure if I pulled it good enough. I don't know. Could be the knit side. I actually, I totally lost track at this point. So I have itchy nose. But yeah, this, look at that. I mean, you guys. Basically what I did here is I added the exact number of stitches that I'm going to work on my heel. It's actually the same number of stitches that I worked on my husband's heel. Because I really did the heel just about the same size. Like I don't think that that really, you know, I don't know. I think it's more about the gusset stitches versus the heel. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm totally wrong. Don't even, don't even quote me on this. But yeah, that's. So the next thing I'm going to do after this one is a short row <laughs> tutorial based on that particular way of doing the short row. And after that, I think I'm going to throw the short row away because I'm sick of the short row. I'm sick of the German short row. No, I'm not. It's, it's awesome. I really, this sock construction to me... It's just the most gratifying. It's fast. It's simple. It's it's just amazing, and I absolutely love it. And I feel like I have finally tweaked it enough and understand it enough that I could literally go and make myself, my husband, my sister, her kids. I think I could make everybody socks now. I can make everybody socks. I can make everybody booties. Just like my grandma used to. And to me, that's like the most awesome thing ever. My nan, I mean, she used to do stuff like that. She used to keep our feet in like a notebook. I have a notebook that I created back in 2009 where I had my feet, my husband's feet, my niece, my nephew, this and that. But I didn't understand. Like, it's not until I go over it by reviewing somebody else's work, a video or a pattern or something, that it kind of floods back into my mind like, yeah, that's what grandma taught me. So like basically where it just triggers all those memories and everything just washes over me and I start to remember all the things that my my grandmother used to taught me, uh, teach me. And that's basically, that's basically it. And that's how it goes. So I'm super thankful that I have all of those memories. 
And I'm also uh, thankful that I have all this, these wonderful people and this amazing community to kind of fall back on, to brush up on my lack of skills, um, and just feel like I am making progress and learning um, and just continuing to learn every single day. Uh, and that just makes me feel really, really pretty awesome. So I don't think I'm going to have anything else to show this episode. It's already more than long enough. And I have to splice a couple things together because for some reason I had some technical issues. And yeah, I think we're going to call it a day for this time, for this one, for this episode. So I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I'm not really getting any better at all at these outros. I feel like the music's too loud and it's just not smooth enough. And if I only did my own editing, I wouldn't have these issues. But I feel like I talk about it every single freaking time. So I'm going to stop doing that. I'm just going to go with the flow, guys. I just got to deal with it. This is just what I'm doing. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know what I did? In the video, in the, in the, what is it called? The thumbnail? I did this thing. This is how I'm going to go out, you guys. But this music doesn't work for this. <laughs> Look, this is my, my scary witch shawl. Hello. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is horrible. Why did I do this? No, I'm going to take this all off. What is wrong with me? Anyway. Oh, I should tell you guys, how many subscribers do I have now? It's like amazing. Amazing. In like a couple of days, I got like a ton of subscribers. It's really not a ton. It's really actually only 27 in total. In total. I get the feeling like seven of those are my sister and her kids. I like oh, whoever else she knows. <laughs> anyway. But it's exciting. It's still fun. And I'm having a blast. And I'm glad you guys are here with me. And I hope that they're enjoyable. And I hope you subscribe and like and share. Kind of don't share. Don't share. I'm not ready. What else? I can't think of anything else. You know where to find me. Look for me on my about page, you guys. I just, I don't, I don't have, I should have a script. Should I have a script? Everybody has something for their outros and I don't have anything. I really need to stop talking. Stop talking. I'm going to go now. Bye.